He was a little bit more assertive, a little bit quicker decision making out there in his drives. Um, you know, his shot was going from 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 three, but they were mostly either in the rhythm of the offense or he got into them pretty quickly. Um, you know, I wasn't a big fan of his approach defensively to start the game. You know, um, which is why we we, we kind of went in another direction early. Uh, but you know, he responded to that and was a lot more dialed in. Yeah. Uh, for him, it's been it's been a it's up and down year. Yeah. And he's coming out of the COVID protocols, obviously. Yep. How much can he add to the mix if he can put up one of nights like this? Well, tremendously. If he, you know, I mean, I, I loved his aggressiveness tonight. He was really, really uh, aggressive. He was, you know, committed to his shot, played off the catch, finished strong. Really good, um, you know, performance by him. And then, you know, then he. He, then he was driving and kicking later on, and you know hit some timely threes. So um, he's kind of out there with that, that group. Uh, you mentioned the, the bench production. Jaylen, yeah. Uh, second quarter, uh, Jalen as well kind of broke the game open. Mm-hmm. That unit in particular do well tonight. Yeah, they shared the ball. Yeah, yeah they, they shared the ball. They made quick decisions. I thought they attacked and got to the paint very well. Um, and they guarded, you know, they, 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 there was a lot that, you know, they guarded and they were able to give themselves a cushion where they didn't, didn't have so much pressure on their offense. Yeah. Because I remember you said before the game, you know, you were concerned about the Fallon. Uh, yeah. You know, you got an aggressive defense, forced a lot of turnovers, but uh, Fallon was a concern. And mm-hmm. just wanted to ask from, from you, how do you assess uh, they performed on that? Because obviously the Clippers are lacking guys who draw fouls. Yeah. And they couldn't take advantage of that tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought we played really good defense without fouling for most of the game. And then in the fourth, we fouled a lot. You know, just kind of got a little bit loose with the fouling. For the most part, I thought we did a good job of playing with, with better uh, better hands and better position. We'll go to the Zimbray. We'll go Jason and Dave. Jason, go ahead. Hey, Chris. Is Torian somebody who you maybe can see giving you more than you've gotten uh, maybe in the first half ish of the season here? Well, I, I think so. You know, he, he had a great preseason for us. Um, and, you know, it's it's a little, probably unfair uh, on Torian, you know, because he's had a bit of a yo-yo role. And, you know, some of that's our doing. And, you know, some of that's just he had made shots. He got a lot of good looks at one point in the season. And, you know, that. but we've said all year long that kind of stuff always comes back around. And hopefully for now, for him, it's coming back around. Chris, uh, with, with Nas Reed, um, yeah. what have you just seen from him in terms of his growth as a pick and roll player, not only as a scorer, but tonight seemed to be passing it really well on the, the short roll also? Yeah, his, his pocket awareness has grown. Um, you know, I think he, he's a very good passer, like in general. He sees the floor extremely well. Um, you know, I think uh, he's also a really good scorer. He probably sees himself a little bit more as a scorer, but we just been trying to get these guys to understand what that pocket looks like when they, when they, when they get in there every night. Every defense is a little different. And he did a good job of finishing around the low man. He did a good job of kicking. Did a job rolling hard. Um, he's a really good playmaker. It's a luxury to have, particularly in your second unit where you can run so much offense with him and through him. And then you, uh, you mentioned with the the rotation was a little bit different in the the first quarter, or at least mm-hmm. it was different than it was last night. Yeah. Um, and you talked before the game about some of those blended lineups. What kind of went into your your rotation change today? Yeah, I wanted to try to you know we want to try to get Jalen on the ball as a point guard, but we knew we needed you know some some defensive help out there alongside of him. Um, so that was you know Jo and um, TP were able to go out there and help bolster that lineup, give us some some defensive presence too. Uh, as well as you know, as well as scoring, which Jalen brings. Hey, Chris, you talked about how you can coach Ant really hard. Uh, how does he respond to like when you have to take him out early because the defensive intensity and whatnot isn't there? Um, is he pretty good in those spots? Yeah, he's always he, he responds well. You know, I think it. You know, um, he you know, he responds really well. I think he's a comp- he's a competitor. Um, Needs to know that you know we 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 have a standard that we're trying to play to, and we're not and we I, you know I didn't think he played very well last night, so I, it was my job to make sure that he was dialed in to play well tonight. Hey, 
and uh, I didn't like to start, so um, you know we had to shake it up a little bit. So.